So I thought I would do the exact opposite of what everyone wants to hear. These days, everyone wants to know about the most unique thing and the most authentic thing they can do when they travel. However, everyone has to start somewhere. This week for Transfer Travel, I'm going to be telling you about the five most iconic things you can do in some of the world's most fantastic destinations. Number one, what better place to start than in Australia? One of the world's most famous travel destinations and one of its most famous places, the Great Barrier Reef. The reef itself gets around 2 million visitors each year and tourism at the reef generates between 5 and 6 billion Australian dollars per year. The best way to see the reef, in my opinion, is to go in it, i.e. get your snorkel and your flippers. It's time to go for a little dip. Number two, heading across a few seas and finally land in America, we bring ourselves to the Grand Canyon, located in Arizona. The canyon itself is 277 miles long and up to 18 miles wide with depths approximately down to 6,093 feet. Although hiking in the canyon is popular, in my opinion the most iconic and probably stereotypically touristy way to see the canyon is to go above it and get a helicopter. Number three. Heading over to Europe, we now find ourselves in Venice, the city on the water, and what is the best way to discover the city and its waters? Yep, that's right, a gondola. Now, a gondola can set you back approximately 80 euros per boat. However, if there's a large group of you, the price is by boat, not by person. Sounds pretty good to me. Rides can be up to around half an hour, although I guess the more you pay, the longer your experience may be. You may even be lucky and get a gondolier that can play some music. Number four. We now journey over to the Middle East, and if there's one thing that the Middle East has to offer, is a ton of sand and the odd camel. Put these two components together and boom, next thing you know you're on a camel ride in the desert. Now, riding a camel is a little different from a horse, and slightly more uncomfortable um, but yeah if you want to experience the desert like they did tens and tens of thousands of years ago go grab a camel and finally number five staying in the Middle East one of the most iconic things you can also do is take a trip to the Dead Sea aptly named by the amount of salt found in the water, not allowing any real organism to survive. Due to the natural buoyancy of the water, anyone can float, and I mean anyone. I was convinced that I would not float, but alas, I did. I didn't take a book with me, but I wish I had, because it's, it's probably the most comfortable place to read in the world. I now challenge all of you to go and find five more touristy things than that. Apart from going up the Eiffel Tower, Paris, because that almost made my 